Hello everyone, this is Brad. We're going to take another look at Exanima today. Might just have enough time to wrap it up for this playthrough and get to the end. If I don't get hopelessly lost, and I'm all, I start out hopelessly lost anyway, so, <laughs> you know, good luck with that. And now that I'm playing so many different games, I get, I'm getting the controls mixed up wonderfully too. That's a thing. It's not an excuse, but I'll use it as an excuse if I die. <laughs> well, at least you're honest about it. I remember somebody commented with me that the multiplayer was probably only going to be local multiplayer. I would still love to be able to fight somebody on the, you know, do like a, like the arena, but be able to connect with somebody and just do an arena fight. Even if it didn't count for anything and it didn't have any impact on your game, you guys just fight each other. I would love to fight some of my the major commenters for this game in a game if I could. And everybody's like, yeah, I'd like to fight you too. Sometimes a walkover is fun. Um, <laughs> you didn't watch me just fall to the ground, did you? Yes. I've been in here. That's where I found the amber crystal. Oh, I'm ready to level up. Actively protect partly exposed parts of your body and weaknesses in your armor. Confidence in your armor allows you to continue attacks while receiving weaker blows. I'm going to go with deflection. Because def it seems more useful to me. I mean, I could be wrong, but it seems like it would be more useful to me. I'd rather defend better than attack. Somebody in the comments, let me know. Is this a weapon that was really used? I mean, I'm sure somebody has used it in the past, but, like, is that used to great efficiency? Like, it seems to me like it's a two-handed sword, maybe even the length of a one-handed sword, but on the end of a polearm. Thrust is the same. Well, the crush is better than the slash. The balance on that is better and the impact is less. Like, I don't know why, but this weapon interested me the moment I saw it. I'm still going pole hammer for the win. But I'm curious about the actual practical application of a weapon like that because I've never seen anything like that. I want to fight him. Ain't looking good. Well, they haven't actually hurt me at all. They've just done yellow damage. So... You got knocked out. They did a little bit of red. That went well. well actually, they did a pretty good amount of red. I have killed golems. Damn it. And I swear, I swear, you can beat on them and they will eventually aggro. Wake up. There we go. I want a one on one. I have been defeated. I'll go ahead and use my healing ointment. And I think after that, I may come back and just go for broke. I'm sorry, 
pole hammer for the win guy. I just, I just don't. I can equip it, but I can't put it in my inventory. I just don't think it's for me. I am going to keep it though for now. I'm getting whooped on, man. Like, it doesn't help that the golems are so incredibly fast. I want to double check, make sure I have been in here. Yeah, I have. I get. There we go. Because I remember that breastplate. You know how dependent of a map I on a map I am in a game, I find myself wanting to press M to pull up a map constantly. Will you wake up? Seems like they really don't like getting hit with a with a hammer. Come on. Yeah. I do that. <laughs> so they don't like crushing weapons. I, I see that. That much is clear. But I feel like I move too slowly to effectively use that pole hammer. Like I feel like he kind of gets caught up on the floor and whatnot. But crushing weapons seem to be what they don't like. But okay, I'm going to continue to explore and quit messing with the golems. As much as I still want to fight a golem. He just goes back over and chills in the corner. He's like, you want to try again? <clears throat> Bring it on if you want to try again. I'm not sure where to go because I end up in the same spot every time. I've been through here, but I don't know if I've been through the all the adjacent rooms. Was there another? Yeah, there are some other doorways off of this room because you come into this area from the, the eastern, easternly direction. I think. No, I come in from the westernly direction. And I believe I went to the right. Okay. This... It would, it would be nice if they incorporated a map. I, I think it would take away from it. It really yeah. would. Like, it's not... As much as I bitch about it, it's... Yeah, this is just that archery target room. Like, it's not... It doesn't fit this particular, yeah. I don't know, I want to say genre, but it, it, it doesn't fit this particular style to give you a map. Because this is supposed to be like an ancient, yeah. lost place. It's like, oh, you just find a map laying around. Like, it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit the narrative. Yeah, true.
Like, understanding why doesn't make me want one any less, but... <laughs> I mean, I could Google a map, but that feels like a cop-out. And still I end up right back where I was. Have I been here? I think so. Yes. Is that just a bathroom? I think it was. Yep, that is just a shithole. I remember killing both of these guys. So if you come in from the from the west side, let's go south. And try not to fall. I assume this is going to take us back where we've already been so we're gonna come around this way in a this early direction <laughs> have I been in here already I, I believe I have or one similar to this. Because I think it was in here that I found one of the tokens. I don't want those keeses, I think is what they're called. I'm going to keep my brass armor. I'm going to be a brass knight. Not a brash knight, but a brass knight. Yeah, I've been here. Doesn't mean I didn't miss anything, but I've been here. Hell, I think this is roundabout where I started the episode. Um, table, drinking room. I wonder what a drunken character would be like in this game. I mean, hell, the way I move, I may as well already be drunk. So we're going to go through here. Where I just, yep, gotcha. At this point, I'm just kind of following the wall. That's where I found the amber crystal. If I don't find something very soon, I'm going to cut until I do. Part of me wants to just go back and see if I can take on those two golems again, but I'll do it sword and board if I if I do it. This is just that tomb, but I'm gonna make sure there's nothing off of it. Well, more tomb. There doesn't appear to be much else. So I'm looking for the token that's got the two little diblies on them. I have the heater shield token, but I believe that's just going to take me back to 
that first room. But I am going to go back. I'm going to backtrack and find it. I believe it was to the west. Oh, no, this is to a different area. That's my bad. No wonder I've been running around in circles. Okay. Ha. Nothing of interest. Another cage room. An arena. A small arena, but an arena. Leading to another arena. And a not very pleasant looking room. Well, that went a lot easier than I expected it to. And here somewhere, I believe, is where the eye token is. Another little arming sword. I think the token with the eye on it is in one of these, or maybe that double, that double ribbon. Was there other doors? Like that one off of the hall. Yeah. I don't... This is not the place to be using a Zwei hander, guy. However, I am curious. Like, that's the biggest two-handed sword ever, but mine's better. I woke to terrible screams. Who could sleep through that? Edrian, my neighbor, was never found. All that's left of, him, left of him is the blood in his bathroom. They say they are now amongst us. How could this happen? There are rumors that they were, they were let through deliberately, but I cannot believe that. What was let through deliberately? Been in there. This is another washroom. This is a hallway identical to the last hallway full of stuff like that. Okay, nothing over there. I like the sound it makes when you walk over the skeleton to like crunch. bothers me if they're not fully open. Well, I know what happens if I go to that door. 
At least I'm pretty sure I know what happens if I try to go through that door. I feel like this is going to take me roughly back around to where I was. This, this is that original shield door. But I didn't think it, I didn't think it opened into a new area. I thought it wrapped around, basically making it easier to come back, and that I needed to find either the eye or the two ribbon token. I was mistaken. I've been mistaken a lot, but that's okay. At least I think it's okay. I'm trying. I'm trying really hard to not suck. There's the eye door. I still want to know how these golems were made. I'm not even so concerned with the who, but how. The how interests me more than who did it. Oh, yeah, duh. Back in there. Well, I was right. I did circle back around. So let's go back through this door that I opened. This, yeah, that was where I came from. I opened that door to the left. I was going to say, I don't see a symbol, but... I am Ribbon. Part of me wants to know what happens if you try to cross the lightning in the hallway without turning it off. I mean, obviously it's going to kill me, but I want to, I kind of want to do it just to see. It probably will be a thing that I do. After I beat everything. Like, I'm not just going to make you guys watch me do all this to fling myself into some lightning, but like after I kill the end boss, I may backtrack, flip that lever, and just jump into the lightning and see what it does. See if there's any cool <laughs> animation like it flings me across the room or something like being struck by lightning would, you think? Well, I could run around the room and aggro four. I am going to go back this way. Does this all lead the same way? It does. Is there... No, there's nothing to appear to be... Well... This a different path. It might be. Okay, so I went left when I discovered that door before I backtracked. So is this just the same? Yeah. Okay. This is where I entered from. Is there anything I missed? No. Okay. Damn it. There. He's like, I'm hooked on the wall. I don't know what to... Oh, hey, there's a door over there. <laughs> I'm hooked on the wall. I don't know what to do. I'm good on your crude boots. Again, this place looks like it had a well-stocked armory at one time. 
Or at least it had the intention to be a well-stocked armory at one time. Whether it ever got stocked or not. Where is... That's another two-ribbon door. Hell, probably the same two-ribbon door I've looked at two or three times now. Let me... Is this that hallway I searched? I'm about 99% sure it is. But I will check it out. No, it is not. Okay. That's another reason I think that I have a hard time sometimes, is because, eh, how armored, unarmored does that leave me? It leaves my shins a little exposed, but I literally have no encumbrance that way, so, what are you stuck on? How do I not have any encumbrance? Why? It bugged. Does it? Is it actually reflecting like I have no encumbrance? Yeah, I'm pretty quick. Um, I don't want to exploit that. Hang on. It's not. Is it the helmet? No. Okay, I. Did it bug? I think so. I. Anybody that watches this, please tell me if you believe that that should be intended. And if it, like, it's been a while since I've not been unencumbered. Tell me if it looks like I'm less encumbered than I should be. Because if that's the case, we, yeah, I've been here. We should probably report this to the devs because I'm, I'm wearing plate. It's like, oh, my shins aren't armored. I'm so limber. And maybe I've been bugged for a while and just, yeah, wait a second. I only had like two and a half. What? I've only got one? This is insane. And he has the two ribbon token. Okay. Let me just poke my nose in here. We're about out of time for this episode. Um, one, probably two more episodes are going to remain. I, I, no, I'm not going to jump into another area. I'm going to continue. I'm going to explore this one a bit. I think I have about everything other than... The flanged mace and the mask. If you miss something, let us know in the comments. I've probably missed a lot of stuff. That would be a laundry list. Well, I found the lightning hallway. So that's the direction that the boss is. 
that the great golem is. And this is the other eye door and ribbon door. I guess I will go ahead and poke my head in here. I'd like to kill one more thing before I end the video. I will kill two more things before I end the video. Come on, one of us needs to stop sucking at this fight. Stop fighting with a shield. Shields are for weak people and me. <laughs> so you just admitted you're weak? And I think I just figured it out, Christy. It's not showing that... It's showing that I only have one bulb of encumbrance because I've got maneuvering up to level 3 for the armor. It probably represents that by dropping the encumbrance. I just thought of that. Can I not can I not move you? I'm gonna gonna kill this guy with the mask. And then that is gonna be about where we have to call it, I think. Are you Are we gonna just fight over the table here? Right across your throat, zombie. I'll take your mask. Really, that's going to be it. The group must have stayed in hiding, and once we were almost all gone, they raided the armories. I assume they killed an officer to gain access, many were killed, but our attempts to stop them were ultimately futile. I was backed into this room, and they were blocking, they blocked the door. They did not see I was carrying this mask. It has been some time now, I don't know how long. I don't think anyone will come for me. Are the, are the other all dead? This mask will sustain me for some time, but I fear it will only prolong my suffering. So, that's my question. So this man, this seems to be like we are the first people to discover him in a long while. Oh, come on. Let me monologue. <laughs> Just garbage. So, I want to take a good look at this guy. He looks worse off than the other zombies we've seen, in my opinion. 
Like, he looks putrescent. Um, he looks putrescent. I... But it implies he hasn't been discovered by whatever it is, by, by Thaven, we assume, who is raising the undead. Why is he in the condition that he's in, then? You know, why is he an undead? Did the, If you're wearing that mask with a charged crystal and you die, is it just going to you know, keep pumping life into your corpse? You know, or is it like the One Ring? Does it corrupt you slowly over time? Make you something together, altogether different? I don't know. Damn it, hit him. Uh, hit him on the ground. Okay, never mind. But, I don't know. I will need to look at some of the lore once we wrap this up and see if I can make a better conclusion on that because that interests me a lot. But I'm running a little over on time as it is. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Dislike if you don't like what we're doing. And please comment. I would love to hear feedback from everyone, as well as the people that have been watching me from the very beginning. You guys are the ones that I enjoy having a conversation with the most. And I would love to add new faces to that conversation if anyone else has any questions or any thoughts. You guys have a wonderful rest of your day.